everyone, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new to my channel, my channel is based around my life as a mom. So all things mom, it's basically like a little mama bear channel. I talk a lot about my son, which is now 13 months, and I am also expecting a baby girl in November or maybe even late October is what I'm predicting. So I thought it would be cool to share with you a few clothing items that I've been loving while having to style my bump. I'm 18 weeks pregnant, so the bump is still very much in formation and growing, so I'm kind of at that in-between stage. I really try to shop for items that that will work during pregnancy and after pregnancy. So that's probably the most difficult challenge I find because I just don't wanna buy a piece of clothing that's gonna last me throughout the pregnancy and then I'll have to throw it away afterwards. So I try to find something that I know I could probably still rock and still look cute. So the first item I'm gonna show you is this top that I actually bought postpartum with Rain, but it's very long and it's an eyelet top from Anthropology, and it's like a tunic style. So it goes past your crotch area, which I learned is the number one thing that we need as pregnant women. We're most likely just wearing leggings and or like a belly band, so you just need to cover that whole area. And this is a really cool, airy, breezy item that I obviously wore before I was pregnant and I'm wearing now that I am pregnant again. And it's very forgiving. There's a lot of material here, so when my belly does um, grow, I'll still be able to wear it. Another item is this cute little hat that I wear every single day. This hat has nothing to do with dressing your bump, but it does make me feel put together. When I leave the house and I'm just wearing some like weird pair of leggings and a tank top, I just throw on this hat and I'm protected from the sun and I also look pretty stylish, I think. So this is my favorite one. All right, I just had to put my hair up because it's getting pretty hot. But these are the motherhood leggings that I love. They have them in, I think, like a dark gray color too that I have, which I couldn't find. And the dark gray is a cool alternative to the navy because it's dark gray and then the belly band's nude. So if you're wearing like a shirt that's kind of sheer, uh, you won't be able to tell that you have a belly band on. And this is from motherhood. And when I bought this, it was a buy one, get one free offer. I'll definitely link it down in the description box so you could see if it's still on offer. And one sh sweater shirt that I am loving is this Gap kind of ribbed sweater and it's really, really long. And um, this is really cool with just some like denim shorts or something because summer is really, it's really hot right now so you don't really want to be wearing long sleeves and like jeans or anything but this really works well if you don't want to layer or have like a sweater on when it gets a little bit more chilly towards the late afternoon in the evening. I have been loving these Madewell jeans. They are amazing. You can pretty much wear these jeans with everything and anything. As far as shoes, I can wear sneakers with them or I can wear like fancy booties with them and it still works. And they are the boy jean and these are my sister's jeans. She's much taller than I am so when I need maternity clothes, she's my go-to because everything that she has fits me a little larger because she's taller. Um, this is a size 26, which I'm normally a 26 anyway, but the, the boy jeans are meant to be really baggy and this really works for me, so I love it. I recently got this utility jacket from Topshop and it's long too, but not as long as covering your crotch, almost, well for me. For most, it's probably not long enough because I'm shorter. But I love this to layer on and like on top of tank tops and stuff. It really works for me and it kind of hides the belly and sometimes if I don't really want to show the belly off, I'll, I like wearing this and I feel comfy and covered. One of the greatest buys I've purchased is this Gap Body Stripe Shirt and the sleeves are a little longer, which is a plus. I don't like wearing short sleeves and they're like super, super short. I love like the longer, more elegant sleeve. And this is Gap Body and it's super soft and I love it so much and it covers my crotch. I'm saying crotch a lot today, <laughs> but it's true. That's what it does and I love it. And um, I got this also in like the navy stripe too. The last item I wanted to show you 
is this dress that I wore in my last video, Get Ready With Me video, and it's just a American rag dress, and it really emphasizes the bump. So when I'm feeling like I really wanna show off my bump, I wear this dress, and a lot of people are like, oh my God, you're like so pregnant. I'm like, yeah, I'm obviously very pregnant, but this dress really shows that off, and it gives you a really cute silhouette, and I love it, and I wear it not off the shoulder which it's meant to be worn but i wore it like on my shoulders so and then another item that i love are these denim shorts that i'm wearing denim shorts go with pretty much everything and as far as shoes i am loving let me get this the right way okay i'm loving the ultra boost by adidas they are amazing they're quite expensive i uh, know they're 180 but I mean, they're so worth it and I always wanna wear them. They get really dirty quickly though because I chose the white ones, but I would highly recommend Ultra Boost to expectant mothers because walking is just so hard on us and my pelvis is already starting to hurt like it did last time in my pregnancy with rain. And um, this is really definitely helping. And Brian actually, I got him a pair last year and it actually cured his back aches. Like he had a really bad back aches and now they're completely gone because he wears these every day. So definitely Ultra Boost are very good buys. If I wanna look chic but still comfy, I wear my modern Babos from Everlane. They're really comfy, you just slip them on. You also have the option to put the backs up and wear them as like a loafer, which is a great um, option as well. And they look really good with shorts and with pants and I haven't tried them with leggings, but I'm sure these would work. And my ultimate favorite shoe that I'm wearing right now, and it might look like grandma old lady shoes, but I've been told many times that I kind of dress like a grandma with my big knit sweaters and all that stuff. I guess that's just my style. But this is the shoe that I've been wearing for years. I've had these shoes since 2013 because I bought them to travel around Europe and they've lasted through that and they're lasting till now. It's a good almost five years with these moccasins and they're from The Gap. If I knew these would last me this long and I would love them and I'd be so comfortable in them the way I am, I would have purchased all the colors. I think there was like a beige one, but I love these. They're like the no fuss kind of slip on shoes that I just throw on when I'm walking out and I never even realize I'm wearing them because they're so lightweight and I just, they're like as comfortable as the Ultra Boost I wanna say. And I don't wear them with socks, obviously, so they're just like easier to, to wear and slip on. And it's definitely highly recommended, but I'm always looking on Gap.com to see if they carry something like this again. And I think I want to like write to Gap and ask if they'll ever have shoes like this again. Because um, I would probably buy all of them, but they're so adorable and I love them. Probably one of my favorite shoes. Okay guys, well I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas. You're a mom, you're also pregnant, you have a little toddler, you want to be comfortable and you want to not have to think about your outfits when you're walking out every day. And these are the outfits that I'm going to wear consistently throughout my pregnancy until of course I probably get bored of them and I want something new. I'm trying to minimize my closet and my wardrobe so everything is very bare and simple and easy. I love the whole aesthetic of like the minimalistic closet. Um, so I'm trying to get there. I'm going to work on that today after this video, but, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and please subscribe, comment, like this video, uh, if you want to see more. And I hope to hear from you moms out there and good luck with your pregnancies and I'll see you soon. Bye.